been straight since it's been about a year ago. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're back. That was about 950 miles, two days with one overnight stop right in the very middle of France. We decided not to film it purely because it was almost all motorway the whole way back. We just did a complete slog. The, the Fiat, I think it's now within 500 miles of 200,000 miles. Everything went perfectly, but we're not used to this cold weather, and I've just noticed on the Bonneville, Monica, come here for a sec. Of course, we were going through, a lot of the time, it's one degree up in the mountains in France, and I've just seen this. This is what the salt does. Mm -hmm. That, on the brake disc, it's incredible. That is just a layer of rust on the front and back discs, purely from the salted roads. Mm. Yeah, we're not used to that at all at the moment. I just noticed that this morning. I'll take this off in a little bit. You've noticed, of course, I said at the start of the trip, I lost the side panel of the Bonneville. I also would like to put back to standard a couple of bits, such as black gear change lever and black levers. Mm -hmm. I know I've said this a few times before. The time has now come, prompted by the loss of that side panel. So. I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that is go to a motorcycle breakers yard. I don't know what to expect, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to film it. I don't know if I'll have to unscrew bits off different bikes myself to get it. I don't know if it's just going to be a reception room where I wait for parts. So I'm going to go down. I'll take you with us because I hope it may be as interesting for you as I'm hoping it will be for me. Should we start the day? Should we start the day with Starbucks? Oh yes. Okay. Let's go for Starbucks first and then we're heading off 30 minutes to Colchester. We've arrived. Actually, Colchester looks quite nice. Haven't spent much time here. We've gone from beautiful sunshine, rain, and now beautiful sunshine again. Motorcycle Learning Center, Motorcycle Repair Center, and here we are, Colchester Breakers. Just before we go and have a look at this. Classic old Vespa. Monica, would this be anything like the one you have your eye on? <laughs> Let's see. I guess this is their Vespa. And could oh. they live on this boat? Oh, I see. That's, that's an old one. Beautiful. And it's got the, the foot pedal. To be honest, I don't actually know what that foot pedal's for. Okay, we've got other stuff to see. Monica, I've just had a glimpse of the first few bikes outside the breaker's yard. I've got... Happy memories, take my test. I've got my toolkit in the boot of the car just in case, you know, I'm given free rein to wander around with my spanner to take <laughs> stuff off. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, wow.
first time for me. This is amazing. First time in a bike breaker's yard. Wow. A lot of Japanese sports bikes here. Suzuki GSX-R, Kawasaki ZX-6. A lot of Japanese sports bikes, huge amount. And then all of the dismantled parts mm -hmm. here. Okay, reception there. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. Any of these bits, can I take them today? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so there's one I'll definitely take immediately. Right. Oh, as easy as that. Perfect. That's amazing. Brilliant. Do you take cards? Oh, yeah. actually, do you have the non SE one? Mm -hmm. Can you get that painted? Pardon? Get that painted. Uh, yeah, but if they have it, mine's not an SE, so it's easier. Okay. Amazing. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks. Brilliant. Remember that, eh? Mm -hmm. The original one with the Bonneville writing. Very good. I used yeah. to have that. That went straight into the bin about a year ago. I'll left without that. Cheers. Success. 52 pounds, one panel sorted. Actually, pretty much everything goes straight on eBay nowadays, so you can even just go onto eBay, but getting to come down and have a look at it and just picking up by hand, at least I know I've got it. You know the frustrating thing? Mm -hmm. I had that. Yeah. Threw it in the bin about a year ago. I think I just said it. Threw it in the bin a year ago, and now I'm just buying back the standard parts. Very stupid of me. That is the right side, isn't it? I don't know. God, that'd be stupid if I bought the wrong side. <laughs> and we don't have the bike here to check. I'm sure it's that side. Success, I mean, you can see all of it. Also, someone tell me, what's that? British Racing Green Triumph. What is that, an older Trident? I can't quite picture what that is. It's funny, I, I said to him, I'll just, uh, do you mind if I just have a wander around and, uh, you know, kind of figure out what I need myself. He says, no, 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 you don't, you don't wander around by yourself. But I remember as a child, or when I was 17, I always used to go to scrapyards with my friends. So we'd go down in our old bangers, like 25-year-old Ford Fiestas, and we'd go with our spanners, just wandering around, like four Fiestas piled up one above the other, climbing up to the top of these Fiestas, just unscrewing like an XR2i, a 2i steering wheel, and maybe getting some better alloys and stuff like that. Probably times have changed in the 20 years <laughs> since I did that, but good experience nonetheless. great to be back in the pub. The British pub, everyone is so different. This one feels like I'm in the living room of a family mm -hmm. member or something. You've got the board games in the corner, the bar there. Such a cozy feel. There's nothing better than the British pub. I love this. I'm going to be back here. We're in Colchester and in, uh, so it's, it's Friday today. On Tuesday, I'll be back here. I can't believe this. 
just to give you an update, in about six days time we're off to Tenerife for one week just before Christmas and I'll get to test out one of the new triumphs. But here in England, one day before we go, I have managed to get my hands on... Drums. <laughs> the BSA Gold Star. Mm -hmm. I've just ever since I saw this in the Goodwood Festival of Speed, and it's been so long, it's been delayed so much, I can't believe I'm finally getting to test it. I'm so excited. I'm going to Colchester, Kawasaki to pick it up because at the moment, BSA, they just, they've only got one bike. So they don't have the range to be able to justify their own dedicated dealer network. So they're piggybacking off others. Mm -hmm. So I'm off to Colchester, Kawasaki. First thing, something like 8.30 on Tuesday to pick it up. I, I cannot wait. I mean, I'm just ridiculously excited for this, off the scale excited. You know, how will it compare with the Interceptor? Will it be as good as the Bonneville? It's an exciting few days, I can't wait. British weather. <laughs> sun, rain, sun, cloud, sun, rain. Okay, now with all this, six minutes, with all this salt on the road, I'm off to pick up some GT85 for the Bonneville and do my, what I like to think of as monthly spray on the Bonneville to protect it from rust because seeing how badly the brake discs corroded, it's eye-opening just with the salt coming back. Definitely need to give the Bonneville a good spray down. Here we go. It's been a while since an original one has been on the Bonneville and of course fits like a glove. Oh, perfect. What do you think? Very good, yeah. You know, I love the fact, I love the old one I had on, but I love the fact it says Bonneville on the side. It's, I forgot how nice quality it is actually. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Now, hand levers, foot levers, and I'm completely, a bar a few Motown bits that I won't be changing back, completely back to standard. I just can't get over that, you know. Mm -hmm. That is an insane amount of rust for two days on the motorway. Right, we'll wrap it up there because I'm going to go upstairs Friday afternoon and record my podcast. Anyone who hasn't listened, Freedom Machines with Freddie Dobbs podcast, you don't actually need to download Spotify or iTunes. You can listen directly on my website, freddiedobbs.com slash podcast. Get involved. Anything you want to discuss biking related, something you agree with me on, don't agree with me on, get in touch. Listen through the website. Email me dob.bs at outlook.com or just get in touch through the website. I love going through all of your comments and suggestions. So I hope to hear from you there. Thanks so much, everyone, for coming along. We will wrap it up there. It's been, it's been a busy week, and next week's going to be even busier with Tenerife and I the BSA. You excited, Monica? Oh, so excited. Yes, yeah, so am I. Thank you, everyone, for coming along. We'll see you in the next one.